Welcome to Foam Week TV, sponsored by American Weather Star. I'm Heather Westrell, and here's what's happening this week on Foam Week. The Aquarium of Niagara recently underwent a roof restoration project courtesy of United Thermal Systems. The facility's seal and sea line performance area had been exhibiting condensation issues when it was determined that the roof needed to be insulated. For the domed structure, an application of polyurethane roofing foam was the only feasible option. For full details on this domed roofing project, read the article on sprayfoam.com. Lifetime wear and tear is unavoidable for any commercial structure's roofing system. American Weather Star's Uracil Fluid Applied Roofing System is designed to restore and protect virtually any commercial roofing substrate. It is the perfect option for sealing and protecting buildings with low slope roofs and is made of AWS's best urethane and silicone coatings. All of this combines to make a tough, long-lasting, and energy-efficient system that can qualify your commercial roof for AWS's Renewable Manufacturer's Warranty for decades. Visit AmericanWeatherStar.com today for more information. Touch and Seal has recently added two new fire-rated sealants to its product line, Firestop Gun Foam and Firestop 814 Sealant. Both products have been tested and certified to be code compliant for use in passive fire containment. Also, both products are red in color for easy identification as fire sealants. For complete product details, head over to Touch and Seal's listing on sprayfoam.com. Next, up in New Hampshire, Pinnacle Insulation retrofitted a 100-year-old farmhouse with spray polyurethane foam. The farmhouse's previous insulation, which consisted of fiberglass bats, had been underperforming and needed to be replaced with a material that had both insulating and sealing properties. Closed cell spray foam became the best option. Finally this week, don't forget to check out the latest issue of Spray Foam Insulation and Roofing Magazine. Digitally accessible to readers around the globe, this issue focuses on non-roofing exterior spray foam applications. It also features a unique secondary containment system utilizing spray polyurea, as well as the established apartments featured in every issue. Start reading the November-December issue for free now at SprayFoamDigital.com. For more information on these stories and more, visit SprayFoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening on Foam Week.